Following the Washington, D.C. summit, Beijing held an international nuclear fair of its own. While the summit ha here focused on nuclear security, Beijing's meeting addressed how nuclear technology will improve people's life. Zhang Yibing reports. It's powerful, and its related technology has entered a new phase. In China, the third and fourth generation of nuclear power reactors are now in construction. Those two in the blueprint stage are also taking shape. They will be involved in a greater plan. China is going to establish a diversified clean energy system, and nuclear energy plays an important role in this sector. Although debates remain, there is no denying nuclear power technology has affected people's lives in many ways. Experts now say it can also play the role in reducing carbon dioxide emissions. China is, is on the right path and understands the benefit of nuclear power, understands that it's a good way to uh, limit carbon emissions. But it's not just about China. To really get the most out of nuclear, multilateral cooperation is needed. Greenhouse gas emissions and China and Canada, um, among other countries, were signatories to the COP21 emission innovation. And really that's about assisting companies, countries, organizations to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. In our daily lives, nuclear technology can also play an important role. Uh, for example, nuclear medicine, where uh, nu uh, nuclear uh, science is literally saving lives every day. Similar cases are found in agriculture and food production. Perhaps that is why helping people understand the benefits of nuclear science and technology is such an important component of these two science conferences in Beijing. Zheng Yibing, CCTV, Beijing.